Welcome to the Transition Podcast. That's right. This week, we're going to be, as we always do, keeping you guys updated on uh, what Transition have been up to. But in particular, uh, we want to play a clip from one of our acoustic tracks called Jingtian Wan Shang, which has a, a special music video made in Hong Kong. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. What else are we going to be doing, Jess? Well, we'll be teaching you a lyric from that song and kind of giving you all the backstory and hopefully it'll enlighten you as to why it's meaningful for us. Absolutely. But in current and present news, just talking about today, what is happening. I don't know, if, for those of you that have seen Transition in concert before, um, you may have kind of got an idea that uh, Jess and actually Niall as well are, are the kind of coffee guys. Uh, and I'm very much the tea man. And um, when I say tea, my favourite kind of tea is the, we call it Chinese style tea. Actually, Taiwan is, is, is one of the best places for tea leaves in the world. So um, I'm a big fan of the, the, the traditional way of brewing tea that they do over here. But today, Jess, I believe you're going to a special tea tasting in London being carried out by a Taiwanese tea master. Is that right? Yeah, the tea master has flown all the way from Taiwan to London and it's a special ceremony that I've been invited to. So, yeah, I'm really excited. It's my first time to kind of attend one of those. Yeah, you've, normally you've only ever had tea brewed by me, which uh, I, I wouldn't confess to being a master yet, although uh, <laughs> maybe one day I'll get there. Ah, it's always nice, though. It's always nice. And I enjoy trying out the different high mountain teas because obviously, you know, how high the tea leaf is, is brewed on the mountain is uh, an indicator of the quality of that tea. Sorry, I get carried away with tea, but actually a, a couple of weeks ago, I actually went right to uh, the, the the top of some of the, the highest mountains in central Taiwan with, with some friends. And uh, it's amazing to see the terraced tea fields up there and, and to think actually those leaves on those little tea bushes on, on the mountains, because they're so high up, they're really, really valuable. That's a lot of money right there growing on the hillside. How much are we talking then? Well, I... I mean, the, the top tea leaves is, is kind of like wine. It goes as high as you want it to go in terms of, in terms of value. But usually a bag of tea, uh, like for a good quality one, it would cost you at least, over here, you could probably get it for the equivalent of £10. Whereas once it's been exported abroad, if you buy it in the UK, which you can do, it'd probably be at least double the price just for, for a little bag of tea leaves. But uh, I'm sure what you'll be drinking today, Jess, that serum would be even much posher than what I have. We'll wait and see. <laughs> so yes, back to music. Yes. Let's uh, kick off with this song. Why don't we talk a bit about the video? Yeah, the song is called Ching Tian Wan Shang. And the video for this song, and the video to this song we shot in Hong Kong, which actually was, was really fun. It was, it was a wet, kind of cold, wintry night in, in Hong Kong and... The, the director had chosen a special elevated pedestrian walkway in one of the busiest areas. I think it was the Mong Kok area in Hong Kong. And um, it was it was really slightly deja vu-ish in some ways because we were filming the video very much in the same way that we filmed our first Mandarin song, uh, uh, just walking, as it were, walking down the street, playing the song. And... Um, it just felt really funny to have to have done that in Taiwan in Kanding with that Dobichi with the and Buha with that song years before, and then to be doing it in Hong Kong, the same kind of thing in Hong Kong. And it's kind of as you're filming and but you're also performing the song at the same time, and then you see the reactions of all the the, the, the commuters just walking <laughs> past and they're not quite sure yeah. what's going on. Yeah, it was it was a fun experience to to make that video despite being freezing cold and wet. <laughs> but it was yeah, it was good atmosphere. Yeah, that's right. And what else can you tell us about that experience then? I think in Hong Kong, actually, one of the the things that's really interesting is just how uh, in, in the city, particularly. I mean, it's it's so compact and kind of compressed together, and um, you know the the buildings are really tall. The streets are quite narrow. Uh, there's there's people everywhere and every inch of space is used so there's all you know the the little shops and the takeaways and the markets and uh and then you've got you know the buses and then the mini buses and then the taxis and uh all going underneath us on on this this walkway that we're walking over um you really got a sense of the energy of of the city so it was quite cool to play a song that has uh, has energy and is talking um well we'll introduce the chinese but jingtian wan shang 
it's uh it's about not wanting to be anywhere else it's enjoying the moment and feeling like you're in the right place at the right time um so yeah filming the video as i say despite being a a cold and and, and wet night in hong kong it did it felt really cool it felt like uh, this is uh this is a great thing to be doing right now i wouldn't want to do anything else at the moment <laughs> so so cold and wet but you wouldn't want to do anything else no no, it was definitely cold, wet, but very cool to be able to do that right there. And uh, are you allowed to spill any secrets on behind the scenes? What we ate for dinner to fuel the music yeah. video? Well, no, that was that was the problem that day. So that day we had a really hectic schedule. So by the time we got to do that video, we hadn't had any dinner. So that was the one downer. <laughs> <laughs> was feeling really hungry. And then there's like food all around, but we're trying to shoot this video and uh, and, and finish the video before we can then go and actually eat something then we had to actually <laughs> rush to the airport straight after that so it was a it was a super hectic day particularly and it was an end to a hectic week mm. um but a nice way to finish it i think i, I mean my, for me my favorite thing filming the video like that is always watching the reactions of the people that are walking past yeah who kind of like what are these guys doing here on a cold and wet night like this with their guitars and djembe and mm. trying mm. to make it as natural as possible and and making it kind of funny in that sense we did quite a few takes i think we probably almost did more takes than we needed in some ways but generally it's more about trying to catch the atmosphere than trying to get a perfect once through as it were mm. so yeah jess i don't know maybe you want to explain um for the listeners th that line in the song the kind of refrain that comes back in the chorus that uh, that little bit of chinese yeah, I can. Yeah, Jin Tian Wan Chang is like tonight or this evening. So you kind of specify that it's this evening tonight. And then all I was saying is tonight, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. It's, it's about all the concerts that we've played where we've turned up. Um, so I give so many examples of this. One example was someone saying, would you like to play a street party? And I'm thinking, yeah, okay, you know, and having no preconception of what a street party in Taiwan would look like. And it was in quite a countryside town. It wasn't in the big cities like Kaohsiung or, or Taipei. And just arriving and the street being absolutely full of people. And it wasn't just a little street. It was kind of one of the main roads in this particular town. And everyone had turned up for the party. And so we played this, this really funny gig. And all sorts of stuff happened. All sorts of funny stuff happened. Um, but yeah, and just thinking, at that time, the surprise was so beautiful for us that we arrive at this place and just think, well, yeah, this, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. This is incredible. Yeah, I remember that one. They'd, they'd closed the main street in front of the train station, hadn't they? Yeah. And it, it felt like the whole the whole town then came out for the gig, mm. um, which was really cool. And then they had all the kind of the speciality food dishes of the town who were, were selling kind of it, from their little market stalls either side so we we did have a really good dinner before that gig i remember i definitely remember that yeah <laughs> yeah there was a couple of dancers that were dancing salsa that maybe have maybe had uh, had a few too many bubble teas or something and uh, were trying to get up on the stage and dance with me but um <laughs> that was just a funny <laughs> One of those things when you're in the middle of trying to sing a song, play the right chords and do your guitar effects and in interact with the crowd in Chinese and my Chinese wasn't very good. And then you're thinking at the same time as doing all those things, how do I then distract these dancers or, you know, make it work for stop everybody? Them, stop them getting on the stage. Yeah, stop them from <laughs> uh, doing a bit of salsa in the middle of uh, a song and distracting me. In the end, it worked. I think all the crowd quite enjoyed what, whatever we did. I think we managed to oh, I remember that. involve them. I remember that as well because I remember the the only way we solved it was telling the whole crowd to move forward so then it turned into more of a mosh pit <laughs> the front instead, salsa which, mosh uh, pit which, which suited the style of music a bit more really but uh, yeah no that, that gig certainly I remember we had three encores as well um, oh incredible which, yeah we were racking our brains for what to do by the end of it it was really cool really great place yeah that's right yeah so that's a good example of which um, is quite a long sentence. It means, as Jess said, Jingtian is today, Wan Shang is, is evening. So today evening is tonight. Jingtian Wan Shang, the name of the song, it literally means tonight. 
Um, and if you say, I'm sure, uh, if you say, "wo" is is I, "bu yao" is is don't want. So "wo bu yao," you can hear that kind of all the time. If you uh, if you're in a restaurant, "wo yao" is I want uh, such and such when you're ordering. "Wo bu yao," I don't I don't want. And then say if you say, "zai bieda" is is in another difang is place. So when you say "zai bieda difang," mm, mm. uh, you're saying I don't want to be in another place. "Wo bu yao," "zai bieda difang." It's uh, it's kind of, well, I guess it's it's our way of trying to translate that idea of I don't want to be anywhere else right now, because this is, uh, so surprising and and cool and unexpected. Um, so that's the atmosphere that the song tries to capture. That's right. Let's have a listen to it. Here we go. Life is fast and I don't want to slow it down. So many faces to see. And when it comes to make the best of the concert feeling, nobody better than us three. Yeah, she gentle treading how the neem and yow like jelly. So crazy, yeah. Oh, here we go. Each a chan hao bo hao, sing it out now. Jin tian wan shan, wo bu yao tai bed at the fun. Jin tian wan shan, wo bu yao tai bed at the fun. Jin de shan show e ga me hao de chi fun. There we are. And so that was Jin Tian Wan Shang, recorded at our friend's studio in Taiwan. One of our favorite places to go in the whole of Taiwan, I have to say. Yeah, that's right. With the music video filmed in Hong Kong. So do if you want to see the entire music video, then this same YouTube channel, just go on to the other playlist of Transition Chenjing Hao Dongxi, the series with Web TV Asia. And, uh, and you can find Jin Tian Wan Shang live acoustic in Hong Kong. Yeah, well, next week we will have another interview with our friend Wing and we've done another beautiful track which he has just released as a single and we have a special acoustic version to listen to. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to that. In fact, talking of Wing, I actually filmed two, uh, three music videos, I should say, filmed three music videos with Wing last week, which was a lot of fun because this month, this month is a special, there's a special season where there's a flower called Yotonghua, which blossoms early in May, mm. a kind of end of April, beginning of May. And they call it the May snow, the Wu Yue Shue in Taiwan, because when all the trees blossom at once, it looks like there's snow on the hillside. Um, so anyway, he Wing had a, a project where he was filming three hacker songs or in and around or under these kind of trees where these special flowers were blooming. Uh, so that was quite fun. It was, again, quite different. Um but that was all live as well. So the yeah. recording guys and the filming guys were all had quite a big setup. Amazing. Mm. And then, yeah, trying to capture something of the, um, the 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 scene of nature and the sounds in nature at the same time. So that was cool. Yeah. So keep following Wing, and we will also look forward to uh, playing that track, the second track that we've recorded with Wing next week. Great. All right. Well. Tai Chien, I think it's time to say. Yes, enjoy your tea this afternoon, Jess. I'm very jealous that you have uh, a tea tasting with a tea master from Taiwan. But um, yeah, I'm sure send a send a send a picture or two. We can include it in another podcast next time. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll try not to look too uh, too happy. Yeah, and maybe for those of you guys that have never tried Taiwanese tea before, then uh, 
I don't know, come to a transition concert and we'll maybe we'll try and serve some or something like that. Always try and think of a way. Start with bubble tea and then you can gradually move on until you become a tea master at tasting the, the high mountain variations. Great. Well, thanks, guys. And we'll speak to you again next week. Bye-bye.